Coming up on this week's episode, Bell Training Academy now GI Bill eligible. Also, Pilatus brings a new PC7 MKX trainer, and Republic Airways begins career program for AMT. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Bell Training Academy now GI Bill eligible. Bell Training Academy has announced good news for former military service members now that the Veterans Affairs Office has approved the School for Pilot Training reimbursement. As part of the VA's education and training assistance, veterans who meet qualifications to receive GI Bill education reimbursement can apply to have all or a portion of their flight training compensated. The GI Bill, established in 1944, has helped cement military service as a cornerstone of the aviation industry, significantly defraying the cost of education for millions of personnel throughout the program's history. It's a welcome accommodation for those servicemen hungry to enter the world of rotorcraft that have been daunted by the often considerable cost of training, especially high-quality professional schooling. Bell's initially approved courses available include the Bell 206, 505, 407, and 429 model courses. Bell Text are named the applicable classes to those specific models, including the Pilot Initial Transition Course, Pilot Initial Night Vision Goggles, Pilot Refresher NVG, Flight Instructor NVG, Ground Courses NVG, Airline Transport Pilot Rating Course, Bell 429 Airline Transport Pilot Rating Course at Bell's Valencia, Spain facility, Airline Transport Pilot Rating Course and Initial and Refresher Training. After the break, WAI awarded with $1 million grant. Details after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter stories in this next segment we call Around the Pat. So, WAI awarded with $1 million grant. Women in Aviation International is reporting the award of a $1 million grant from the Conrad and Hilton Foundation to strengthen the organization's initiatives. WAI is humbled by and grateful for the generous support of the Conrad and Hilton Foundation to assist our organization supporting the growth of our Aviation for Girls and Girls in Aviation Day programs, which help girls and women of all ages and backgrounds to find their aviation dreams, said Allison McKay, WAI CEO. Navy's Advanced Helicopter Training System Team Honored. The Advanced Helicopter Training System Team part of the Naval Undergraduate Flight Training Systems Program Office at Naval Air Systems Command was named the Navy's Competition Excellence Acquisition Team of the Year for its streamlined acquisition program to achieve milestone C full rate production and four contracts in just a year and a half. A new study explains how the pandemic impacted pilot skills. When it comes to flying planes, the use-it-or-lose-it rules applies to keeping pilot skills sharp. 
the pandemic-related stretch of time, according to an Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University researcher, has had an alarming impact on pilot proficiency. What surprised me was the level of skills deterioration over such a short duration, said the study's principal investigator, adjunct professor Dr. Rajay Balaganathan, citing a 50% increase in pilot errors following the pandemic-related shutdown of summer 2020. MD Helicopters Award Transition Training Scholarship to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Student. MD Helicopters has reported that Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Prescott campus student Brandon Hutchins was selected as the 2021 recipient of the MD500 Transition Training Scholarship valued at approximately $12,000. The MD500E Transition Training Scholarship was developed to support the next generation of rotorcraft pilots. Over the scholarship's 10-year history, MD Helicopters has awarded more than $200,000 in training opportunities to 12 students. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now as we turn to the rest of the news, Pilatus brings a new PC-7 MKX trainer. Renewing the competition between the Embraer Super Tucano and the Beechcraft T6 Texan, the Swiss have decided to enter the fray with an advanced tandem seat turbine powered smart basic trainer. The PC7 MKX is reportedly suitable to replace even lighter piston aircraft for elementary training and emphasizes the docility of its cost efficient PT6A 25C engine with 700 horsepower. Built on solid history of the PC-7 that dates back to the 1970s, the PC-7 MKX renews the nameplate while integrating the strengths of Pilatus aircraft for the next generation. Boasting an up-to-date glass cockpit with the same three-display layout seen in modern jets, Students can acclimate quickly to the skills needed to keep up with a complex, fast-paced battle tempo. With all the information they need up front in high definition, students will be able to focus on learning the most vital aspects of becoming a military aviator unencumbered by troublesome equipment. With optional equipment offering synthetic vision systems, traffic advisory, autopilot, cockpit camera, mission debriefing systems, and more. Schools can outfit their aircraft as needed for the training environment. The primary flight display provides moving maps for navigation with the same niceties found on much larger aircraft like a flight management system and engine indicating crew alerting system. After these messages, Republic Airways begins career program for AMT. Details after the break. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at Zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Republic Airways begins career program for AMT. 
Republic Airways will seek to make its own technicians, partnering with aviation maintenance schools to launch a maintenance cadet program, enabling students to obtain conditional job offers midway throughout their schooling. With similar programs in use for pilots at Legacy Airlines, competition will heat up for graduates looking to leverage the best deal for themselves once fresh out of school. Students at two- and four-year A&P programs are eligible for interview in the program. After taking and passing their FAA general exam at 400 hours of training for their airframe and power plant certification, after a successful interview with a Republic recruiter, they are invited to join the R-Jet maintenance cadet program and receive a conditional offer of employment. As they near completion of their certification, they will receive interview priority with base management as well as priority selection of a training class state and base selection. The post-2020 economy has reportedly seen personnel difficulties across the board. Shortage seems to be a buzzword of the day, but many of the industry's shortfalls are only worsening problems that were present years beforehand. The lack of qualified aircraft technicians was already keenly felt in some regions of the domestic market, and decreasing numbers of graduates last year may have painted an even bleaker picture of maintenance departments planning future staff and retention. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.